Cancer, welcome to your weekly horoscope for May 11th through the 17th. My name is Athen. Let's go ahead and look at the chart for you for this week. So this is the beginning of the week here. Uh, right at the beginning, we have Mars shifting into the 11th house of yours. Okay, so I think you've already been thinking about these things, but now with Mars, it's going to become much more about the action and, and initiative. And in a slow and steady way, we do have an opposition from Mars and Saturn. Uh, this week, especially later on in the week, which I'll talk about. But you'll feel this. There's going to be a part of you definitely wanting to get more active with groups, with friends, with network circles, with um, you know the uh, you know anything larger than self, giving, contributing, perhaps, or anything technological or scientifically related. Now you've already been thinking about that with Mercury, and so you know it's combining these you know the thoughts with the action and uh, moving forward with that. Now, on Monday, we do have uh, the sun sextiling up to Neptune, excuse me, with Chiron. Uh, early on, uh, it's Monday and Tuesday is when you'll feel it. So Chiron in your eighth house has been showing you guys the importance of uh, connecting to the deeper side of life, you know, um, forming healthy bonds and, and healthy, deep relationships with others as well. And um, transformation, you know, this is all eighth house related things. So you've had both Neptune and Chiron there which is about healing. You know, you've been healing, you've been learning to go with the flow with these matters, and all that stuff can be very healing for you, very transformative uh, energy. And Chiron li likes to be in this eighth house of transformation because that's where the healing takes place. So anyways, uh, a sextile is a very nice uh, aspect for Monday in particular, where I think you can really enjoy these deeper things, these deeper connections, and anything else transformative, uh, you know, that's beyond the ordinary experiences of the day-to-day -day experience. And you'll find that very healing. This is also about seeing the truth, too. So I think you'll be very much willing to see truth. And through that, you'll heal, feel revitalized as well. So very nice uh, aspect on Monday. Now, things are quiet with the aspects between Tuesday and Wednesday. But on Thursday and Friday, that opposition between uh, Mars and Saturn go exact. So as the week unfolds, you'll feel this more and more. So right when things become, you know, again, motivated with these 11th house matters, Saturn is saying, look, you know, for you guys with Saturn in your fifth house, you guys have been hopefully taking your self-expression, your creativity, your passion very seriously. That's been Saturn in the fifth house. And so this is always the time where we want to work constructively long term towards these passions. You know, it's, it's great to have, you know, um, you know, it's great to just be, you know, it'd be wonderful if we could just have passion all the time, no matter what, and just with complete, you know. Uh, you know, disregard almost of, of the responsibilities that we have. But Saturn is showing us, look, whenever you do have, you know, this passion, zest in your life, you do have to take it seriously. Like there's a serious element to this. And if you want to prolong it, if you want to have this enjoyment into the future, then you have to build certain structures and disciplines, you know, for you in regards to these things. It might be creative for you. It might, you know, involve, you uh, you know, entrepreneurship is another fifth house thing. Anything that you create and are passionate and really enjoy in life. So that's been Saturn there. And so the opposition is saying, look, you know, there's these things that are greater than self that you perhaps are wanting to get involved with. But there's this, you know, seriousness. We, you have to continue to work hard towards the, um, you know, your, what gives you passion. This is what gives other people enjoyment. This is what gives you enjoyment, gives you passion. So the key here, and it could be self-expressive too. So for those of you who are involved in like groups and things of that nature, it's um, you know it's working on your self-expression, making sure you're communicating correctly and thoughtfully, and with you know with ob observable you know observation awareness. So whatever that is for you, balancing the self-expression and joy with things larger than self is going to be the key for you, especially Thursday and Friday, and being patient and long-term with anything relating to those 11th house matters. Because we want to work with the energies of Saturn. And in that way, um, you know, we work constructively with, you know, whatever it is we're involved with in that area. Because if not, if you're too focused here on just the 11th, then that Saturn in the 5th will seem very overbearing and very domina dominating and very cold to what we're trying to do up here. So balancing, implementing the Saturn into the 11th is what's needed. Now, um, that's going to be Thursday and Friday in particular. Friday and Saturday, we have Venus, who's going to be uh, trining up to Neptune and squaring up to the North Node. So that's going to be quite nice, actually. Uh, the trine up to uh, Neptune here in the 8th house, again, with all these deeper things, it's, it's a nice weekend for, again, the deeper connections. 
and transformation, seeing you know the, the truth and depth of life, what life is truly about to us. And this is very, very nice Friday and Saturday. So I think enjoying you know deeper side of life, especially relating to relationships and uh, the simple pleasures of life with Venus. But uh, with this 12th house in particular, you know it's it's relaxing. You know it's a very nice couple of days for relaxing, for um, getting that rest, relaxation, connecting to friends and stuff. Maybe in that way or in the spiritual way as well. So whatever that is, a very nice day for those things. Now, while that's taking place, this sort of watery stuff here, spiritual stuff on Friday and Saturday, uh, you do have the North Node who's been transiting your third house of communication. So whether you've been feeling this personally or not, because the North Node's on a personal planet, but the North Node in the third house has been saying that this whole year, you guys have had the opportunity to uh, you know, learn how to communicate you know, better. You know, learn to learn in general, to treat life as a learning process, maybe do some teaching, things like that. There's been openings and gateways for you with that North Node in the third house. And that's what this whole year is about for your growth. It's about, you know, getting more, you know, and improving because it's in Virgo, these third house related things, your communications, your thoughts, learning, teaching, all those things. So a very nice weekend for that Friday and Saturday. Um, but here it's constructively working towards it. Okay, putting in the action and energy needed to, again, work on, you know, and improve those third house matters. But still, I think it's very much uh, in flow. I think it's a very nice, tranquil energy with that trine up to Neptune, nonetheless. Now, on Sunday, we do have the uh, new moon, which is going to be taking place right on the cusp between your 10th house and that 11th house of yours. So you've already had a new moon here in your 10th house, which is about work, career, and everything on that public level or maybe even your legacy in life. And so you're getting another new moon here. And so this is always about, um, you know, again, it's, it's a new beginning, but it's in a new way. And that new moon's happening so close to your 11th house cusp, that's going to be maybe relating to the big picture stuff, but relating to groups or relating to network circles in some way or how you can give and contribute. Uh, you know, 11th house is also the satisfaction and gains that you get through your work. Okay, so it could be that. So whatever it is, the new moon is always a time of reflection and going within and being receptive to the energies. It's not a get up and go time. That'll be next week once the lunar energy um, starts to fill up. And this is also emphasized by the fact that this new moon is opposing up to Saturn. Okay, so again, we come back to all this hard work and constructive energy with the uh, you know Saturnian side of things, with your self-expression, with your enjoyment, with your passion in life. So those things uh, take it slow. You know, during the new moon, towards the weekend, just, you know, feel into it. Think about where you want to head for the next 30 days and six months of the lunar cycles. especially important for you Cancerians because it involves your ruler of the moon, these uh, cycles, lunar cycles. And, um, and think long term. Think patient. Think practical. That's what Saturn is showing us during this overall uh, new moon energy. All right, Cancer, well, I hope you guys have a nice week. If you're new to this form of astrology, do check out MasteringTheZodiac.com or if you'd like a personal session, and I will see you all next time. Take care.